I think the first day was important. Uh, just getting started, getting things going, getting the blood moving in the platoon for uh, the mission we had in front of us and getting literally our feet wet and having a, an opportunity ahead of us to make the platoon smoother and more functional uh, from Buddy Pear on the, on the team line to the, to the team itself and then also to the, to the platoon as a whole. Key West uh, offers a couple things for, for us diving out here. It has uh, warm waters, which allows for extended canister duration. It has shallow depths across all the training areas that puts the Marines in a controlled environment in terms of the safety structure. And then it offers a lot of beaches and inner waterways that we can navigate through. The platoon as a whole did an excellent job. We started out with doing about a, a one kilometer a day dive with combat equipment. to uh, two kilometers uh, of combat equipment at night into a full mission profile where they conducted uh, RNS on an objective with the infill and exfil. My favorite day uh, during, this, during the Key West portion uh, of, our, of our workup has been a deep sea dive and an opportunity to go practice our skills in different environment, even from what we do uh, around the island here, uh, to go out and practice scuba as opposed to our underwater breathing apparatus. Reconnaissance is a unique beast in that it's not one set of skills or a particular focus that you need to have to accomplish or to get to where the guys and the teams are here. It's, it's a combination of determination and, and skill and the intellect to know and to apply either. 